Hola, explorers! Welcome back! Bienvenidos! So nice to see you again! My name is Dr. D from Bean Food Spot Kids! Today we will go on exploration number six! If you haven't yet, don't forget to check out our other amazing explorations! Aside from our explorations, we have some really cool music for you and Z the Bean videos! Alright, are you ready? Because I am so ready! Do you guys hear that? It's circle time! Today, we will learn about one of the most amazing animals in the world. Let's see if you can guess what animal it is. Here we go. Check out this drawing and let's see if you can find out which animal it is. Gorillas! You did it! Good stuff! All right, explorers. Get your binoculars ready. I got mines ready. It's exploring time! Is this a gorilla? Nope, that's not a gorilla. Is this a gorilla? Let's take a look. No, let's try again. Is this a gorilla? Want to know some more fun facts about gorillas? All right, explorers, get your exploration notebook and let's get started with exploration notes. The western gorilla lives in West Central Africa, while the eastern gorilla lives in East Central Africa. Gorilla habitat ranges from mountainous forests to swampland. An average gorilla can weigh up to 180 kilograms and measure 170 centimeters, which is over 5'5". Five five. In contrast, female mountain gorillas weigh 90 kilograms and measure up to 4'9". Around 85% of the diet is made up of leaves, shoots, and stems. Bear gorillas can also eat larvae, snails, ants, and even roots, barks, and rotting wood, a good source of sodium and salt. Gorillas, much like humans, sleep all night. However, they can also go for long hours of sleep, about 12 hours sleeping. They normally set up nests close to the sunset evening hours to ensure they are safe inside the sleeping areas by the time it gets dark. The nests are usually built by materials around them. Gorillas are one of the great apes. The great apes also include chimpanzees and orangutans. It is very important to remember that gorillas are not monkeys. Remember, monkeys have tails and apes like gorillas don't. Unfortunately, there's only 316,000 western gorillas in the wild and 5,000 eastern gorillas. Both species are classified as critically endangered. To find out what can be done, go ahead and visit www.wildwildlife.org. Whoa, those inspiration notes were so awesome, explorers. Hope you learned some fun information about them. You know what time it is now? It's spelling time! Let's go! Gorilla. G O R I L L A. One more time. Gorilla. G O R I L L A. Now it's your turn. Awesome. You did it. Now, how do you say gorilla in Spanish? Gorilla. One more time. How do you say gorilla in Spanish? Gorilla. Now you do it by yourself. How do you say gorilla in Spanish? Yeah, you did it. Great stuff. Great stuff, explorers. That was so much fun. I love to spell and to learn Spanish together. Yes. All right, explorers. Now it's time for the story of the day. We have a really cool gorilla story for you. Let's go, come on. The Legend of the Green Gorilla. Story by Sean Wolford. Pictured by Chad Thompson. Not long ago, in a town close to you, lived a young boy named Mark and his big brother Stu. They heard many stories, the myths and tall tales of a giant gorilla as big as a whale. They sailed to an island in a neighboring lake, unaware that their journey would be a mistake. We've heard 
that he lives here. I hope it's not true. It's fake. Just a story, not real. Chuckles a stew. Mark wasn't as calm as his big brother seemed to him. It all started to feel like a dream. On the island, a trail led them deep through the trees. A post's sign warned them, Don't touch the ape, please. Go back, do not enter, seriously. One sign read, Go back, you shouldn't be here. The boys figured there was still nothing to fear. I'm sure we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. But this stopped in their tracks when they saw the big cave. Mark started to panic. He didn't feel brave. The cave was enormous and totally dark. Good thing I brought flashlights to, to toss one to Mark. The bright light reflected a cage made of steel. One last sign read, don't touch, we mean it, for real. In the cage was an ape that was big as a wall. 20, no, 30, no, 50 feet tall. His hair, green as grass, from his head to his toes. But why was it green? We're not sure. No one knows. I dare you touch him, Stu said with a wink. Mark laughed. <laughs> I'm not stupid. Is that what you think? Stu added. Don't be scared. He's stuck behind bars and chained to the wall. He can't reach very far. Mark picked up a stick and he prodded the ape. Don't be nervous, said Stu. It's not like he'll escape. The beast didn't budge. He never awoke. Mark reached through the bars with his bare hands and poked. The ape's eyes flew open. He let out a roar. A sound they had certainly not heard before. We need to get out of here. Quick, to the boat. While running, Mark wondered, do giant apes float? Another sound struck them. The bars in the cage were bending as the ape escaped in a rage. Oh no. They heard something rumbling. The boys could feel doom. Each step the ape took, the ground shook. Boom, boom, boom. They jumped in the boat, just a bit more secure. I'm not sure if it swims, but go fast to be sure. The water will stop them. We'll be in the clear. We'll sail right back home and forget we were here. From the boat, they could see some trees starting to fall. As Abe came out running, boom, 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 cannonball! The wave that he made swept them right to the shore. It's your fault, cried Stu. Why did you touch him for? They climbed from the boat and they got into their bikes. Behind them, they saw he was now swimming. Yikes! They pedaled so fast as they rode into town. Their yelling and screaming made them look like clowns. The big ape is coming! Go back to your rooms! From far off, they heard him. Boom, boom, boom. Yet nobody listened. They just seemed annoyed. The townspeople thought they were just silly boys. While biking, Mark looked back and saw the ape's face. He noticed his smile was firmly in place. He was smiling. Was he laughing? To him, this was fun. Mark looked around and saw how much damage was done. Head out of town. Let's go to the farm, away from these people. He won't do much harm. They rode down the street to the grandfather's farm, past the tractors, the cows, and the giant red barn. But Stu looked away and rode into barbed wire. I have to quit riding. I have flat tire. The primer was slipping on all the cow poop, yet he just kept moving. Boom, boom, boom. Whoops. They ran to the farmhouse. They banged on the door. The gorilla was closer and down on all fours. Mark was angry and scared as tears rolled down his cheek. When Stu saw that, he knew he should stop being weak. Stu stepped up. Behind me, I'm here to save you. It's my fault, not yours. It's what big brothers do. The gorilla bent over and brushed Stu to side, just like you would when you swat out a fly. The mammoth beat squatted. Mark knew this was it. The green ape just poked him and said, Tag, you're it. The end. All right, explorers, I hope you liked that story a lot. Now, it's time to end the day with one of our favorite times. It's funny video time! Yes, let's go! Gorillas are majestic animals, but they also love to have fun, especially this little guy. 
Take a look. I like my new haircut. Whee! Yes. Yeah, spam, spam, spam. Hey, Dad. Did you see what I did there? Did you see what I did? <laughs> hey, Dad, can you hear me? You there? I'm splashing, I'm spinning, I'm splashing, I'm spinning, and I'm splitting, and I'm spinning, I'm spinning, I like splashing it. Whoa, 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 I'm getting dizzy. Hey, Greg, get over here. Take your Where'd you come from? Come over here. <laughs> hey, where's my banana? Don't mind my banana. Hey, I know you can hear me. Where's my banana? Uh, this guy was giving me a banana. Okay, let's see. So this is my house. Why is it so round? Maybe Tommy, I need to stand up. Be okay, careful. let's try this again. Okay, so I gotta do this. Ah, my house is gonna be. Ah, help me! Oh, that was a close I'll tell you, one. be careful. Greg, you where are you? Me. I know you're hiding around here. Ah, uh -huh, you can't see me. Na 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 na. Come on, come on, wherever you are, Greg. I'm hiding. Do you want Greg? Come over here. I'm gonna get you. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't oh, you can't catch me. <laughs> I'm gonna grow a mustache. So if I do this to Ew. my ear. Why uh, are you picking mm, your wait, nose? All right, explorers. It's now time to say goodbye. But not for very long. We'll see you soon. Before I leave, just remind you, make sure to subscribe and give us a lot of likes. We'll see you soon. Take care now. Bye.